The set made a poo for popping sound and then went stone dead. It's a D50 F1. There's also a D43 F1 that may be very similar. Okay, we're going to unplug the set, set it down on something soft and some 2x4s underneath there too. Take it apart and see what's going on. We're starting with these, these 11 screws around the outside perimeter. There's like four or five different size screws on here and different types of screws. So have a little box, egg carton, something like that to keep them apart. Don't just throw them into a big pile. It's just going to make it much easier later. And remove the stands. There are two screws on each one. Okay, that's it for the screws, but don't just jerk this back cover off. There's a couple of uh, cables hooked into the, uh, the input-output interface board and going to speakers or sensors or on the front, so be careful with those. Okay, so pull out these two connectors. Just kind of wiggle them side, side to side and you can pull them out. They're different sizes, so you don't have to mark them or anything. Okay, we took a look at this uh, power board now, and uh, right away we can see the brownish discoloration around that component. It looks like a rectifier, AC-DC converter, and it's uh, very brown. So there was some real heat there. And there are two connectors on this board, so uh, unplug those, and then we'll get at removing the board. There are five screws total on this board, three on the corners, and then the other corner is where the power cord comes in, and there you'll find two screws, these being longer for reinforcement purposes. Look at the heat damage on the circuit trace side of the board. It needs replacement. So that's the power board number we need to find. And they are readily available and pretty cheap. It's a used board about $23. Part number matches up. Okay, let's put this back together. I'm going to try to zip through this as much as possible. These go on the corners of the power board. I'm not using a power tool when installing. I don't want to risk cracking the board. These two longer ones go where the power cord comes in in the corner. And just plug them in. White to white and black to black. They're also different sizes. I remember that we have to plug in these two connectors here.
that's I'm sure that's in place over there. There. When it's seated all the way down, we can just put in the uh, mini screws. Okay, that's the AC power over here. Okay, now let's do those 11 small perimeter screws. These four go across the bottom. Three tiny ones by the input. These four go in the middle, basically for wall mounting. That's why they're so big. Okay, remains are the feet. I remember before we had this on some two by fours. So we're gonna set this back up. In the corners, slide these in. Okay, these are, and these are the four larger screws that hold those two feet in. Okay, let's check this out. Hey, we have power. And we're up. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repairs. Please subscribe for more useful videos on the way.